Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Wasag, and I am here to bring you fitness content and mindset content. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you never miss a video I try to post consistently. And we're, today we're diving into how alcohol affects weight loss. Um, she's in California, I'm in Boston. So, you know, we're linking up through Zoom and it's crazy how we can do that during this time. So uh, let's just dive right into it. Yes, I forgot to mention, I have Nestor here. Uh, he is also a fitness professional, a fitness trainer, and he's on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy, so, crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah. But, so what is your opinion on drinking and losing weight like do you believe that it is possible to actually lose weight and drink alcohol at the same time or do you think it's not a possibility um you know it's a it's an interesting topic because you potentially could but at the same time you can't you know because it's it's the calories are different you know one gram equals seven calories where the traditional one is like one gram equals four calories if it's for fat and protein and then no carbs and protein and then fat is one gram equals nine calories whereas alcohol it's one gram equals seven calories so it's it's different tracking um now when you're in weight loss you're in a caloric deficit so you already feel tired you feel sensitive to everything and um I just feel like drinking would not be a good thing because I feel like you'd be really, really, really drunk real quickly. <laughs> That's yeah. just my opinion on that. What's your opinion? I think it's possible, but you would have to uh, count your calories to make sure that you're not going over your budget. Uh, a lot of people think they can get away with it, but at the same time, most if you're a drinker, you probably drink until you're drunk and then you feel like crap the next day. So then that brings down your motivation to ex actually exercise your electrolytes are low you're just not feeling well so what makes you think that you're going to hit the gym and get after your goals I think it's just a setback in my opinion yeah so, it, it is a bit of a setback because it's like you know I, I was playing soccer in Columbia at the, at the pro level um wow like, that's yeah. crazy I think yeah. you did mention that to me one day yeah, I uh, I had a uh, a bad practice one day, and coach came up to me, and asked me, "Oh, were you drinking?" I'm like, "The hell, no!" I don't <laughs> do that. But the the matter of the fact is, is that it affects everything. You know, your your drinking can affect literally everything. Like, you can go from like like a hundred day streak of not drinking, and then have a couple of shots. A couple of shots aren't doing anything, but you can maybe go a little overboard, and then the next day you just feel like absolutely trash, and you just don't eat all day and you just drink a lot of water and then you're probably gonna lose a lot more weight and it's not gonna be the good weight that you'll be losing on that day too so it's like is it really worth it on the day no it's not <laughs> I really don't think it is either and those of you that like to drink and maybe are afraid that your friends or family members might judge you I've been there I would say get a mocktail or something that looks or resembles a drink but doesn't actually contain alcohol that way you can still have fun <laughs> but, and look like you're drinking when you're really not or you can just your goals you can just have like water with ice be like it's vodka on the rocks <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm, gosh I'm how have you, do you mind if i ask how how have you personally handled social situations in which maybe you were cutting or you were on a specific diet and somebody yeah. asked you to drink how would you handle that um so I'll give you two answers. I'll give you the answer I'll say here in the United States. I just <laughs> I tell them no, and uh, they ask me one more time, like, no, bro, like, I'm all set, good thing, whatever. Um, but in Colombia, <laughs> that's a different story. So they don't take no for an answer. So oh it's like, you, you have to take a drink. Yeah, that's the, it's like, here in the States, you know, in the States, it's like, we're in this era of like, canceling everything so it's like you can't bully <laughs> anybody you can't peer pressure anybody or else you like get sued so it's right. like in the states you could say no and you're safe in colombia on the other hand 
no, <laughs> there is no saying no when it comes to that. You need to have at least a drink. So what I do is I just buy a beer and I just sip on it and nobody likes warm beer. So I hold on to it till it gets warm. And I just, if someone asks me, oh, like you, you got a drink, lift up a beer in my hand. And they're like, good. Now let's say, that, let's, let's say that you uh, go to uh, like a different club or a different bar and um, you're meeting them some new friends. And you, that means you just left your beer, you just had a new spot. Maybe they're after you get a new one. And uh, I'm going to feel so embarrassed saying this, but during New Year's, um, I was on my, on my diet, my routine, my diet, and everybody was taking shots of this like licorice kind of alcohol. And I wasn't about it. I'm like, no, I'm all set. He literally didn't leave, let me leave his house until I just took it. And what I did was I, <laughs> I just took the shot, but I didn't swallow. I kept it in my mouth the whole time. And what? That's I, dedication. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I left the house, I spit it out. And my mouth was burning. Like, I don't recommend doing that, but that's how dedicated I was of not drinking because it, it has such bad effects on you. I'm just like, no. Yeah, it really does. It affects your mind deteriorates your digestive like digestive tract certain organs uh i think the liver is the one that gets most affected by excessive drinking so yeah and you get like short-term memory loss and then you know it has like uh what's it called um it decreases your sex drive as well decreases your ability to digest certain stuff as well um, it decreases a lot of things in your body and it, it's not, it's not good for you and just overall general state of things. Yeah. Like for me, every time I would, uh, go on a first day or whatever, and they'd get a glass of wine, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> <laughs> they would ask me why. And I would show, tell them like, yo, I'm focused on this, 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 and it shows in them super dedicated to something. So for me, have you had negative responses? One time. <laughs> really what do they say so i was already dating her at the time so it was like a little bit different and it was like a really special occasion that's the thing like i'm so i'm so like determined on what i want like i, I just I'm not giving it up for anything we went out to to dinner it was like a nice restaurant and she was like oh like i'll get some wine this and this i'm like can i just have a glass of water she looked at me and she's like are you serious <laughs> what <laughs> as you're sipping your water <laughs> some people like look at it as a slap in the face but it's really nothing personal it's really all about you and your decisions and where you want to go yeah yeah because think about it, like like it's okay to go out and have a night out and stay up late and you know sleep in after that but if you're hung over you're not going to the gym and then that's it's 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 hard <laughs> it really is i've been there i tried it's not a good time yeah it's not like last kind of night ruins like fitness for you in a way because you're just like oh this feels awful and then you start associating fitness with something bad or negative in a way yeah so what do you think about you know weight loss and alcohol and then what kind of weight loss are you currently if you are focusing on weight loss like what what's your take on it like how do you figure out what you need to do to uh lose the weight for me personally i will figure out my macronutrients. And then I kind of have that, those numbers in the back of my mind. And when I make food choices, I do it intuitively. I don't like count the exact numbers. I'm just like, okay, like I've had X amount of carbs for breakfast, X amount of carbs for lunch. I'm probably not gonna have any at dinner or whatever the case is. Or if in the morning I don't have any carbs, I'll have some later on in the evening. It doesn't, you know? Yeah. I also do like to fast first two, three hours of the day, just because it gives me mental clarity. And I also enjoy eating fruits in the morning Yeah. as well. I just feel more energized and I don't have to rely on coffee or an energy drink or anything like that. Yeah, I was fasting and I saw, oh my gosh, I love fasting. Me I too, love, it feels it, so good. Yeah, I was losing some good amount of weight. Um, I was looking leaner and like it's just two things which for me was kind of hard was like my personal training schedule so like the time that my fast would end I couldn't eat because I was working so I was just like 
once I quit my job, I'll go back to fasting because I felt so much lighter, I felt so much energized. Um, and I don't know, I just felt better overall, to be honest. Like, yeah, it was life changing. But are you, are you someone that has like a sweet tooth or are you someone that can just eat plain food? I used to have a sweet tooth. I mean, it just depends. Like around my cycle, I will crave sugar and I treat myself. But then once it's over, I'm like back on routine and getting after it without, I use sauces a lot, but I'm not really much of a sweet person. Okay. It's like an occasional thing. Yeah, for me, I'm just, when it comes to my food, I'm plain and simple chicken and rice or and meat and rice and veggies. Yeah. Uh, but when I have my cheat days, oof, I, I cheat. I don't. What's you know, your favorite cheat meal? Oh my gosh. Where do I start? Um, <laughs> Oh, Lord. You go first. I have to think about this one. For me, it's sushi. I love, I'm obsessed with sushi. Sushi. With, like, spicy mayo on the side. And then I'll put the wasabi in the soy sauce. Done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crunchy shrimp every time. Crunchy shrimp bowl. Nice. For me, oh, Lord. <sighs> can I make, like, can I, like, has to be a meal, not a day, right? Just a meal. Yeah, just uh, I'm gonna have to go with breakfast. Um, wait, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with breakfast. The rocks, the rocks French toast. The rocks French toast. Just two four inch thick brioche bread. Basically, Whoa. it's a whole whole loaf. Like I measured it out, it's a whole loaf. Jesus. It's humongous. And then the way you cook it, you have to so. If you want to be a little bit healthy, you don't use real eggs. You use egg whites, mm -hmm. so you soak in egg whites, and then um, you what you do is you let it brown on the stove, like just brown, like color it a little bit. Then you put it in the oven because you need want it to cook all the way through. And if you cook it on the stove, it won't cook all the way through. So um, I learned that the hard way. That's so crazy. When I ate into it, it tasted like uncooked eggs. I was like, oh, oh gross. <laughs> But yeah, I love cheat meals and all of that. I think it's good to have a good balance in your life. And yeah. uh, I think we talked about this previously with uh, drinking and, you know, creating healthy habits. What What's like one of the tips that you would give some of your clients who struggle with drinking excessively? Maybe they drink every single day after work or whatever the case is. Like, what do you recommend that they do in order to stay away from that habit or breaking that habit yeah um so for me if i have one client who just can't not eat clean on the weekends so we came to agreement that she can only have one bad meal during the weekend and she can only have two cups of wine because she just can't stop the drinking with the wine she's like i can't give it up but she, she, she's given up a lot. She's no more grilled cheeses for her. No more bread. No more. Um, I went through a phase where I was eating grilled cheese every single day. And that was so bad. I finally cut it out. <laughs> yeah. Like, there has to be a stop to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told her to stop that. That's like, I'm going to tell you to stop that. <laughs> and, um. And then cheese, she loves her cheese. And I'm like, you have to get rid of that and do like fat-free cheese. And then um, she was always eating like a lot of amount of rice. And I said, you know, switch to quinoa, quinoa or quinoa, however you want to wow. say. Yeah. And then um, what else? And then I, uh, she says she always needs dessert after she eats. And so this was, this was a challenging client because it's like- That sounds really challenging. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, so she can't have strawberries at night. She can only have stra about four strawberries in the morning, and that's about it. And at night, she can have sugar-free jello. And now she's in love with that, sugar-free jello, because that's her sweetness. And on the weekend, she can only have two cups of wine, because her wines are, like, big damaging part. And with her, like, it's just slow progression, slow, steady, like, um, uh, uh, achievements. But for my other clients, I tell them, like, you lose 10 pounds, you get your cheat meal. Now, are they cheating in between that? Probably. But <laughs> um, yeah. they, get their, they get their big, big cheat meal in 10 pounds. And I have one client who hit their 10 pounds 
they had a small little cheat meal. They're going to drop five pounds again, have a little bit of a bigger cheat meal. And then if they drop 10 pounds in total, I'll join them on a cheat meal. So Love it. So it's like you have to you have to give yourself and if you're a personal trainer, your clients something to look forward to. So for myself, for example, um, I am giving myself a full month of just uh, dedicating to my diet and my workouts and then some other personal things of just hitting it super hard. And then a month from today or a month from whatever, um, just indulge like an animal. <laughs> Awesome. Well, for me personally, the way that I like, thanks for sharing that, by the way. And I also did want to add about the cheese. I read earlier this morning that cheese actually puts your body into an acidic state. So it creates mucus in your body and it's not very healthy long term. So it's good to cut back on that, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Plus cheese. the hormones that are being pumped into the cows and stuff that's being it's not really good for you either, but that's a whole different subject in itself yes, for it another is. time. <laughs> uh, I, a rule that I came up with when I first got into training was not drinking on the weekdays. And today, actually, my one of my clients was like, hey, uh, I'm meeting up with them after this call. They're like, do you want, uh, do you like red wine or white wine? And I'm like, no type of wine. I'm not drinking. <laughs> Sorry, it's Monday. <laughs> like, No. So stick to your rules, you guys. And if somebody can't accept you for who you are, then I don't know. I think it's time to cut them. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the life coaching with Nestor and Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you just cut them out. Snip, snip. Got to go. We're living yeah. your time with them. They're influencing you in, in the wrong ways. Yeah, and because when you're losing weight too, like you're weaker. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's important to have support and like accountability from someone who gets it. Now, I know there's probably people watching this that are like, well, I don't have support. It's like, I believe this in everything. I believe this in every aspect, whether it's working out, dieting, life, family, relationships, whatever. Um, your support is welcome, but it's not needed because I'm going to do whatever it is that I want to do. Now, it takes some time to get to that level, kind of level. But if you're in the gym constantly every day, not every day, but like, you know, six times, five times a week, and you're hitting it hard every, every time, you're, you're not, you're going to get, you're going to get to the point where you're like, I don't care what other people think. Like, I just want to hit my goals. Like, I just want to bench this number for once. You know, I just want to get to this body fat percentage for once. And then it, that goal is just going to become so important. You're going to be like, dude, like, I don't want to drink. I'm sorry. I'm not going out with y'all tonight. Or like, yo, like, I'm not going out to five guys because xyz or oh i'm not gonna go hang out with you guys and smoke today because every time i smoke with y'all i'm always eating taco bell till like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> right so, yeah, yeah you make those like tiny sacrifices and over time you finally end up reaching your goal it's completely worth it yeah and you know some people need extra help with weight loss you know um supplements wise i only take uh two different things two to three different things um i take one thing like every single year i take this one thing called cla um burns fat retains lean muscle mass it's a flower and it's all it is is just a flower um now i take something else it's a carb blocker now the reason why i take those two is because i like to get to like crazy shredded level <laughs> so it's like to get to that without doing cardio is kind of hard you kind of have to like starve yourself which i don't want to do so it's like i need a little bit of help so i take cla and, and carb blocker but i don't take any of those other fat burners and stuff like that because i honestly believe if you have a good diet good workout routine doing like cardio three times a week and maybe taking like a cla or something like that you'll you'll lose the fat you'll lose the fat i've been using uh mct oil i love that stuff for weight loss I add it to my coffee to make it bulletproof, or I, I just, just put it over my oatmeal, whatever meal I'm having. It's it's tasteless. So yeah, super good for weight loss. And I feel like we always like tend to, myself included, we always tend to um, compare ourselves to people in the magazines, when in reality, those people are not natural. <laughs> That's so. true. Yes. Yeah. So be careful who you're looking up to on Instagram too. Like some of these girls that I'm watching are like in their tip top shape and I'm like oh my god I wish I could look like that but it's honestly impossible naturally 
and I definitely have to be pumping steroids <laughs> like to get to that level. Yeah. So I rather stay natural and stick to the natural supplements as well. Yeah, and to tell if someone's like not natural, just look at their physique. Like if somebody looks like they're the dang Hulk, they're not natural. <laughs> like and then <laughs> again, whenever I, I go to my gym and then like there's like you know six thousand plates stacked on the leg press and like all right the freaking hulk was just sitting here or something like for a human person to leg press like 600 plates or whatever it's just like you won i don't want to go to your gym no more you won like congrats you won the game like i'm done working out at this point because it's like yeah a lot yeah <laughs> i've seen that yeah those guys are uh, interesting it also messes with a lot of your sexual organs in both males and females. Yeah. Especially if you're not like knowledgeable about the subject too. You know, I'm sure there are professionals who know exactly how much you need to be taking and all of that, but yeah. go the natural route. I'm more of like the health, not health, but lifestyle coach. I'm more of a lifestyle coach. I don't like push my clients to get like abs or anything like if that's something that you want to do i'll help you but if not and you're just taking these 15 20 pounds let's get it yeah yeah you know weight loss is different for everybody you know totally. weight, weight loss for you and i are probably different you know um weight loss for people who are watching this is different um my roommate his weight loss is goals different than mine it says you have to you have to be happy with what you're at and on top of that if you're a coach try something before you recommend it you know like that's what i always do is before i before i start recommending fasting to people i tried it out to see you know like which one of my clients would benefit from this which right. one, um workout routines i have never done a workout routine that i have not done myself yet because how are you going to coach it you know if you don't know how it feels um and on top of that you know <sighs> Let's not be experts. I'd rather not be an expert. I'd rather just learn all the time. So there's a lot of people on there on YouTube or Instagram or wherever saying that, oh, abs in 15 minutes. It's like, all right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all of those are just clickbait yeah. videos. And some of these coaches aren't really educated or in the middle of getting their certificate. And they're like, oh, you can get abs by doing five minutes of this exercise. And I'm like, no, dude. <laughs> save yourself like the embarrassment <laughs> yeah you know and, and to be honest if you were to this has to do with weight loss as well if if you look at a bodybuilder who's losing weight to compete and you look at a boxer who's losing weight to compete if you punched a boxer in the stomach as hard as you could he'd probably still stand up if you punched a bodybuilder as hard as you could in his, in his stomach he probably wouldn't stand up because he's training for physique looks. He's not training for performance and strength for strength enhancement and this kind of things. Whereas a boxer is, you know, like if like there's so many boxers that are like quote unquote fluffy or fat, but yet again, they can probably outrun an average Joe. So right. that's like, or a bodybuilder, it, somebody that's like, yeah, there are different modalities, modalities of training, different styles of weight loss and strength training so it just comes down to what you're looking to do exactly exactly what fits your schedule <laughs> yeah because when i was playing soccer you know my workouts weren't the same as it is today like today i just do strictly like compound movements um you know like yeah compound movements isolations and stuff like that and really focusing on that mind to muscle where i was playing soccer um my yeah i was doing compound movements but I was I was more focused on the endurance of things and the repetitions and the right. uh, agility of things um, versus looking to get massive, if that makes sense. I played soccer in high school as well, and it was more agility. Uh, we trained cardiovascular, the cardiovascular system, and now it's all strength training for me too. And like I do, I actually have been getting more into cycling now. I love it. Like. The stationary bike i'll get on for like 45 minutes so then, i enjoy it i feel like this taste and ties into weight loss uh cardio you don't need to do cardio if you don't want to to lose weight you just need to be in a caloric deficit 
like all these programs saying do thousands of hours of cardio. You're right, exactly. No, yeah, you're right. It's all it all comes down to your energy expenditure. Stay in a caloric deficit and you'll you're on your way to lose body fat. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cause for but me personally, like if yeah. I run a mile, I'll lose everything I ever gained over the summer, over the winter. Like it's like so bad. Wow. Yeah, I have uh, a really fast metabolism that sometimes I do not like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it stinks so bad. Like, yeah. So you're a hard gainer. Yeah, I'm a hard gainer. Um, so I actually ended my bulk at 178. And I currently to date around 157, 56, 58. So I basically dropped 20 pounds in the span of three months. People take a lot longer to do that. And it's because I'm just, I, like, I, I'm just, I lose weight so quickly. I lose weight so quickly. And then in two, two and a half of those months, I haven't done, I wasn't doing any cardio. Just, just lifting, just lifting harder, um, supersetting. And yeah, it's totally well, possible. That's what I was doing. Now I'm implementing cardio because I, you know, I want to get to that uh, crazy shreds. <laughs> I think another reason why you were losing weight so fast with built strength training is the muscle is, uh, what's the word for it? It's uh, catabolic. So it burns more calories at rest. And it also feeds off of the nutrients that you're feeding your body. So that's burning calories it burns more calories than fat does at rest. Yeah, and believe it or not, the more heavier, the heavier you lift and the more muscle you put on, the more size you put on, part of put on, the easier it is for you to lose weight. Why? Because I um, think it's your biomass index. Um, it's your metabolic rate. It's your metabolic rate. So basically the amount of calories you're burning at rest when you're not working out. Um, and that comes from your density. You know, how, how much weight are you carrying around? And if you're lean 165, you're burning a lot more calories than someone that's lean at 155. So the more weight you're putting on that's muscle, the more calories you're gonna burn too. So exactly. in conclusion, lift to lose weight. <laughs> and don't be afraid of my women out there who are afraid to lose or to get to lift heavy. I was afraid to at one point, and honestly, that is the way to a nice toned physique. You want like nice toned muscles. You can't really tone a muscle, but building that muscle will help you look look toned. That's the word a lot of people use. They're like, I want to look toned. I don't want to look muscular. I'm like, it's the same thing. <laughs> but we'll go with tone. <laughs> yeah. Females just can't get like super. And we nice. can't get super big unless we're on steroids, like we mentioned earlier <laughs> like the, but girls legs can get really big those yeah girls legs can get big that i do know yeah i mean unless if you think differently i think they do yeah i've seen it in women we're more like quad and hamstring dominant yeah because your center gravity then, yeah i think it also has to do with a re reproductive system as well like you know women were meant to conceive. So that's why <laughs> we've got a little bit more meat down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel so bad for you ladies. That's so painful. But um, in conclusion, you are able to lose, I think you're able to lose weight while drinking and just make sure that you're sticking to your rules. I would recommend personally, don't drink on the weekdays. We drink on the weekends and when you do drinks minimum uh minimum one to two drinks a night and you're good that way you don't wake up hungover and you're not feeling like crap the next day see and it being nice i would say a drink and a half to one drink <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you can pick who you want to listen to <laughs> um but yeah i would say it's a soft yes um but yeah, I'll go with the very, 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 very soft. Yes, almost like borderline maybe. But yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Nestor, what's your, Nestor, what's your, uh, where can people find you on social media? 
Yeah, so my Instagram is at fit.ness.14. So it's F-I-T dot N-E-S dot the number 14. And then my Insta, not my Instagram, my uh, YouTube is Nestor Fitness. Um, it used to be Fitness, but then I realized that was such a bad domain name. So I just went with Nestor Fitness. Um, oh. and- yeah, so you guys can find me there, and um, I'm not giving you my phone number, so guys, don't ask for that. Doing <laughs> it there. Awesome, and I'll link your stuff below as well, so that cool. they can find it for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your friend. Tell your mother. Tell your auntie. Tell your dad. Tell your aunt. I just said aunt already. Tell somebody that you watched this video that you took something away from it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you watched it to the end, I don't see why you must subscribe. So make sure you follow Anna and all her social media platforms. They will be pinged somewhere on this video and they'll be pinged in the description below. Um, just gonna say she has a lot more follows than I do. So you'll probably like her page more than mine. So that's why. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 <But yeah>. just- <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good one.